Netflix has heavily prioritized international growth lately, and Africa is not excluded. While the majority of the African movies on Netflix are from Nigeria's Nollywood, we've taken care to spread out our list to cover great movies from other African countries. After all, there are also great movies on Netflix from other African countries like Ghana, South Africa, Senegal and many others. As we hop on this list, kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on our notification to get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. We begin this list with Namaste Wahala. Namaste Wahala, which translates as Hello Trouble, is a 2020 Nigerian cross-cultural romantic comedy film produced, written and directed by Hamisha Dariani on her directorial debut. The film Namaste Wahala is a movie based on the romantic relationship that exists between an Indian man and a Nigerian woman who fall in love and how their relationship develops in the face of cultural differences and familial issues. This film is hailed as the first major collaboration between Bollywood and Nollywood, which are two of the biggest film industries in the world. Catching Feelings The South African film Catching Feelings adds another dash of romance to our list while retaining a sense of socio-political consciousness. The 2018 movie, directed by Kagisu Lidiga, focuses on a university lecturer named Max and his girlfriend Sam, who flit around Johannesburg's cosmopolitan circles. The lives of the formerly famous writer Max and his wife Sam are disrupted when the famous and very self-indulgent author comes to stay with them. This places a strain on Max's relationship with Sam. The film was available to stream worldwide on May 18, 2018 by Netflix. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind Though this movie had British producers, it also had Malawian co-producers and was filmed in Malawi with more than 80% of dialogue in the Chichewa language. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind dramatizes the fascinating real-life story of William Kamkwamba, a renowned Malawian inventor who achieved fame by building wind turbines out of scrap parts to generate electricity for his rural family. British-born and Oscar-nominated actor Chiwetel Ejiofo directs and stars in the movie, but the real star is Maxwell Simba, who plays a young version of William Kamkwamba. If looking for an inspiring and heartwarming story, check out this movie. Atlantics this 2019 movie was directed by a Senegalese named Marty Diops. Marty Diops' film Atlantics generated significant buzz when it won the Grand Prix at 2019's Cannes Film Festival. The award was a long time coming for African cinema. Atlantics tells the story of a young woman named Ada who was on the verge of entering an arranged marriage with a rich man named Omar but actually loves another man named Suleiman. One day, Suleiman sets off by sea to Europe and Ada hears nothing from him thereafter. As Ada's wedding date approaches and she longs for Suleiman, a series of events begin occurring. Lionheart Lionheart, directed by the renowned Nigerian actress Genevieve Enaji, made waves as Netflix's first ever Nigerian original film production. In this drama comedy, a young woman named Adeze Obiagu aspires to prove herself as a business leader at her father's company, Lionheart. When health issues incapacitated her father, she gets a chance to showcase her skills. Facing mountains of corporate debt, Adeze must work together with an eccentric uncle to save Lionheart from failure. If you are looking for a female-centric Nollywood film with a heartfelt and engaging story, Lionheart is a good pick. Before we continue with the rest of the five, kindly take a set to subscribe to Africa Scope to be part of this growing family. The Wedding Party 
Wedding Party is a 2016 movie directed by Kemi Adetiba. The Wedding Party is a big, sickly, professional, colorful rom-com with a social comedy heart. When Duni decides to marry Doze, her newly wealthy family decides to throw the wedding of the century. However, Doze's family believes he's marrying beneath his status, so they elect to leave all the wedding plans to Doze's parents. The wedding party shattered Nigerian Netflix streams and box office records as the highest grossing Nollywood movie to date. The Burial of Kojo The Burial of Kojo is a Ghanaian movie written and directed by Blitz Bazawuli, who is a Ghanaian musician. Similar to Atlantics, this is another mysticism-tinged movie that raises and arguably redefines artistic standards in African cinema. The film tells the story of Kojo, who is left to die in an abandoned gold mine as his young daughter, Essie, travels through a spirit land to save him. The film won two awards at the 15th Africa Movie Academy Awards. It was released on Netflix on 31st March 2019, making it the first Ghanaian film to premiere in selected countries worldwide on Netflix. Azali Azali was Ghana's first ever submission to the Best International Feature Film category at the 2018 Oscars. The film, directed by Kwabina Nyasa, centers on a girl named Amina who initially lives in a small village in northern Ghana. However, while trying to evade an arranged marriage, Amina gets thrust into the slums of Ghana's capital city, Accra, which results to sex work for survival. The film has a surprise twist ending that mirrors life in Accra slum. Its production quality and cinematography are also pretty decent. Vaya Before making Vaya, Vaya director Akin Omotosho spent years in story workshops with homeless residents of South Africa's economic capital, Johannesburg. The stories he heard influenced Vaya which powerfully interweaves three stories of South Africans who come from rural communities to fulfill personal dreams or aspirations in Johannesburg. These three stories include a man eagerly anticipating a job in the big city, another young man trying to reclaim his father's corpse, and a young woman who wants to escape the drudgery of rural life. These three narratives are weaving to bring about a powerful and dynamic story. King of Boys King of Boys is a movie made by the Nigerian director Kemi Adetiba. She is director of the highest grossing Nollywood movie of all time, The Wedding Party. While The Wedding Party was a socially conscious romantic comedy, King of Boys is a darker, politically tinged thriller. King of Boys features Nigerian actress Shola Shobowale in a powerful performance as Alhaja Enyola Salami a powerful businesswoman who will stop at nothing to advance her own interests. While the film's 2 hour 49 minute runtime might turn off some viewers, King of Boys should appeal to those who enjoy dark movies with meditations on power and violence. These are the top 10 best African movies to make it to Netflix. Subscribe to our channel for more great content about Africa. Thanks for watching.